Diabetes, a widespread condition impacting millions globally, often exhibits subtle indicators that require attention. However, certain urgent signs can suggest a potentially life-threatening situation. Recognizing these can be the difference between quick, effective treatment and severe health consequences. Here are seven diabetes emergency signs that everyone, whether diagnosed with the condition or not, should be aware of. Number one, fruity breath, fruity breath in the context of diabetes is a distinct sweet or fruity smell that emanates from an individual's breath. This is not a normal or healthy sign. This phenomenon occurs due to the presence of elevated levels of ketones in the bloodstream. When the body cannot access sufficient glucose for energy due to inadequate insulin, it starts utilizing fat for fuel. This fat breakdown produces ketones as byproducts. While small quantities of ketones can be expelled through urine, when their production exceeds the body's ability to eliminate them, they build up in the bloodstream. This accumulation leads to a condition known as ketosis. As the concentration of ketones increases further, the body attempts to eliminate them through exhalation, which results in the noticeable fruity breath. For someone with diabetes, particularly type 1 diabetes, the presence of fruity breath is a warning sign for diabetic ketoacidosis DKA. DKA is a serious and potentially life-threatening condition marked by a drastic increase in blood sugar levels, accompanied by a significant accumulation of ketones in the bloodstream. If not treated quickly, DKA can lead to dehydration, brain swelling, coma, or even death. The underlying cause of DKA can vary. It might be due to missed insulin doses, an illness or infection, or other factors that disrupt one's metabolic balance. Essentially, the fruity odor on one's breath isn't just a curious symptom, it's an urgent signal from the body indicating the onset or presence of a dangerous metabolic state. Recognizing and addressing it quickly can prevent the severe complications associated with DKA. As such, Anyone who notices a fruity or unusual smell in the breath of a person with diabetes should seek medical help immediately. Number two, rapid breathing or shortness of breath. Rapid breathing or shortness of breath in a person with diabetes isn't just a random symptom, it's a serious indicator of an underlying metabolic disruption. Breathing is closely connected to the body's need to balance pH levels and manage carbon dioxide CO2. When the body begins to experience a significant acid buildup, it naturally tries to exhale more CO2 to compensate and restore the pH balance. In the context of diabetes, this abnormal breathing pattern often signals the onset of diabetic ketoacidosis DKA. DKA occurs when the body, unable to use glucose for energy due to a lack of insulin, resorts to breaking down fats. This process results in the release of ketones, which are acidic compounds. As ketone levels rise, the blood becomes more acidic, prompting the respiratory system to expel CO2 more quickly, manifesting as rapid or labored breathing. This respiratory distress isn't just about the lungs working harder, it reflects the body's urgent attempt to counteract a dangerously acidic internal environment. As DKA progresses, it can lead to other severe complications, even coma or death if left untreated. Recognizing the connection between accelerated breathing and potential DKA is crucial for anyone involved in the care of someone with diabetes as it requires immediate medical intervention. Number three, nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting, while common symptoms of various ailments, take on particular importance in the context of diabetes. In people with this condition, ongoing nausea and vomiting can be warning signs of a severe metabolic crisis called diabetic ketoacidosis DKA. When the body can't efficiently use glucose due to insufficient insulin, it turns to fat for energy. This fat breakdown generates ketones, acidic byproducts that, in excess, can make the blood too acidic. As ketone levels rise, they can begin to irritate the stomach lining, leading to nausea or even episodes of vomiting. But it's not just about an upset stomach nausea and vomiting are the body's efforts to rid itself of these excess acids. If left unchecked, the continued rise in ketone levels can dangerously disrupt the body's internal balance, making the blood too acidic. This metabolic imbalance can negatively affect multiple organs and bodily functions. In diabetics, this means that nausea and vomiting aren't just symptoms to be relieved, they are alarm signals. They indicate a deep-seated issue with the body's metabolic control, one that requires immediate attention. 
Ignoring or downplaying these symptoms can allow DKA to advance, risking severe complications, including life-threatening situations. Number four, confusion or altered mental state confusion or an altered mental state in a person with diabetes is not merely a temporary concern, but an urgent warning sign that indicates possible metabolic instability. Our brain is a glucose-dependent organ, requiring a constant supply for optimal function. When blood sugar levels fluctuate to extremes, either too high hyperglycemia or too low hypoglycemia, it can directly impact brain function, leading to symptoms like confusion, dizziness, or altered consciousness. In the context of diabetes, prolonged hyperglycemia can result in diabetic ketoacidosis DKA. High levels of ketones and glucose can cause the brain to function abnormally, leading to cognitive changes. On the other hand, Severe hypoglycemia can deprive the brain of its primary energy source, leading to similar cognitive disturbances. These changes in mental state are not just side effects, they are direct manifestations of the brain's response to metabolic turmoil. An altered mental state, when seen in conjunction with diabetes, demands immediate attention. Addressing the root cause quickly can prevent further complications and potential harm to the individual's overall health and well-being. Number five, weakness or fatigue. When someone with diabetes experiences a profound sense of weakness or fatigue, it isn't just the typical tiredness one might feel after a long day. It's a deeper, more concerning exhaustion that may signal an imbalance in the body's metabolic processes. Diabetes centers around the body's ability to use glucose, the primary energy source for cells. If glucose isn't effectively utilized, energy production can be compromised. In diabetes, when insulin isn't adequately present or isn't functioning effectively, glucose can't enter cells for energy production, leading to a state of energy deprivation. This situation is like having fuel near a car but not in its tank. The body, although surrounded by glucose in the blood, can't convert it to usable energy, causing feelings of profound fatigue. Additionally, elevated blood sugar can also lead to increased urination, resulting in dehydration a common cause of fatigue. On the other end of the spectrum, if blood sugar levels drop too low hypoglycemia, the body is again deprived of its necessary energy, resulting in weakness. In diabetes management, this isn't just about feeling tired, it's a symptom pointing towards potentially dangerous glucose imbalances. Whether due to hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, weakness or fatigue is an urgent signal, highlighting the need for immediate evaluation and action. Number six. Abdominal pain in the realm of diabetes symptoms. Abdominal pain isn't just an isolated discomfort, it's a significant alert of potential metabolic turmoil. While abdominal pain can arise from various sources, in the diabetic context, it often suggests a serious condition caused by diabetic ketoacidosis DKA. DKA arises when there's a shortage of insulin in the body, leading to an inability to use glucose for energy. Consequently, the body begins to break down fats as an alternative energy source, resulting in the production of ketones. These acidic compounds, when accumulated in the bloodstream, can cause the blood's pH to drop, leading to a state of acidosis. The buildup of these ketones can irritate the lining of the stomach, causing discomfort and pain. This isn't just a stomach ache, it's an indicator of the body's internal environment becoming dangerously acidic. For someone with diabetes, abdominal pain, especially when accompanied by other symptoms like nausea, vomiting, or fruity breath, is an alarm signal. It suggests the possible onset or progression of DKA, a condition that, if not treated quickly, can have severe consequences. Number seven, blurry vision. Blurry vision in someone with diabetes is not just a minor eye issue, it's a sign of deeper metabolic disturbances at work. The eye, particularly the retina and lens, relies on a delicate balance of fluid and nutrients to function correctly. In the context of diabetes, elevated blood sugar levels can lead to shifts in this equilibrium. When blood glucose levels rise, it causes the lens in the eye to swell due to osmotic imbalances, altering its shape and ability to focus, leading to blurriness. This isn't just a temporary inconvenience, it's the eye's response to systemic hyperglycemia. Conversely, if someone with diabetes suddenly improves their blood sugar control, the eye might again undergo changes, leading to temporary vision disturbances. Beyond the immediate effect on the lens, prolonged high blood sugar levels can also damage the blood vessels in the retina, 
a condition known as diabetic retinopathy. Over time, this can lead to significant vision impairments or even blindness. In essence, blurry vision is a visual alarm triggered by the body, indicating potential blood sugar irregularities. For those with diabetes or those around them, it's a symptom that requires attention, not only for visual clarity, but as a pathway to understanding and managing underlying blood glucose levels more effectively. Recognizing the emergency signs of diabetes is not just about knowledge, it's about empowerment. These symptoms act as the body's distress signals, highlighting when something is critically wrong. This knowledge equips individuals, caregivers, and loved ones with the tools to act quickly, ensuring that diabetes remains a manageable condition rather than an impending emergency.